be out there, no restrictions, big game, making a couple big plays. Yeah, it felt it felt good. You know, this was the first time I one of the first times in a long time where I really felt like I was healthy and I was really felt like I was really contributing to the team. And it was it was just great to be out there. Are you at a point where mentally you still think maybe something could happen to you? Or are you past it? Like you're playing without thinking about what's happened in the past. Oh yeah, I, I never think about what happens in the past because that's just one of leads to more injuries. Because if you hesitate out there, it's cause more injuries. You get beat. So I just go out there and just give them all. Kim, how's this feel? Did you feel 100% healthy? Yes, definitely. I feel 100%. And how long have you felt that way? Uh, I felt that way for a couple months. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Loved it. They still kind of, you know, Ryan they called it like hitch they did kind of use you in camp, right? Yeah, they were just trying to make sure I was healthy, took care of my body, so I could be ready for the season. Cam, how does this defense different for Cornish? We see three safeties out there. We see the defensive line move around, two linebackers. Is it is there any difference for from what you guys were doing in past years? Um, from the corner aspect, no, because at, at the end of the day, you're on the island. You were there by yourself with no help, so you just have to figure it out. You just believe in your D-line. To get the job done. So did that make it easier for you, Denzel, the other guys, to just fit into this defense? I mean, you're you're doing what you've been trained to do your whole life, right? Oh yeah, definitely. Our, our D line is amazing, so it was made a lot easier for us out there in coverage. We don't have to cover as much as we used to. You know? so. This was the first time in a game that you played Jim Mills and defense. One thing to do in practice. How different was it in a game? How much confidence did you have? And what did you think about? So in practice, we get a lot of the most difficult plays that all beaters. So when we get to the game, we've seen everything. So we really it makes the game a lot easier and slower for us. So the defense is really exciting. So I'm happy for it. Yeah, how much fun is it? It's, it's very fun. You know, you get to run around fast, play fast, you hit hard, you win. So. Yeah, when, you, when you draw an offensive pass interference, how gratifying is that when cornerbacks are used to 99% of the time being the ones drawing the flags? Uh, personally, on that one, I was upset because I thought I was gonna get the pick. But <laughs> um, but it's it's good to finally finally the ref see the offense doing the extra stuff. So it's good to get a call against against me. So when you guys got in on Sunday, how did how did the grade look? Was it, what was the feedback for the way you played? Um, we we I, they, they say I played good, but I just I'm move on to the next game. Um, I grade I grade myself a lot harder than anybody else. So. Um, whatever that grade is, my grade is most likely lower. So I don't really pay attention to that grade. I just try to go as hard as I can. What were you critical on? What were you self critical uh, Just I'm more critical on the details and uh, my techniques and just make sure that if I need to like squeeze a route or something like that or stay deeper or just align in certain ways and just to, so the quarterback don't get a hint of, of what I'm in because quarterbacks look to the corners to see what we, what we play. So. This being our first instance of seeing this Jim Knowles defense outside of practice in camp, what do you think it fixes from last year? <laughs> I see what you're doing, man. <laughs> um, I, I would like to say we just we our our defense is very confident and we we go around we fly around fast. So that was the biggest that's the biggest difference from us. We all trust in each other and believe in each other. So that's the difference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How much yeah. of that confidence for you personally? Just getting out there and playing a full game, getting off the field, feeling healthy after. I mean, how much does that just play into your mindset? Oh, it's, it, that that that's played a lot. I'm I'm really excited to just be out there just to play, especially a full game. I would, that was the first time I left the game healthy. Next day practice healthy. I was just I was just excited. So my adrenaline be rushing a lot. I mean that's a good thing because I'm I just want to go out there and play. I don't really care. No, you good. <laughs> How much confidence does the defense coordinator have to have to call it corner blitz at the first play of his entire career in the school? And uh, were you kind of surprised when, when Jim called it a corner blitz for the first play of the game? Yeah, <laughs> but uh, um, it's, it's it's good. Our coach has a lot of confidence in us, and he believes in us. He won't put us out on the field if he didn't. If he if he don't believe we should be out there, he will not put us out there. So to put those two plays the that first play where it was just a missed tackle, mm -hmm. and the second play where the guy on the third down where he tips it up and makes a miracle catch. Yeah. Do you kind of set those aside as like those were almost fluke plays? Because if you do set those aside, you really didn't give up anything entirely. Yeah, I, 
we we can't set them aside because it happened. But um, we know that Josh is Josh is a great tackler. He's going to make sorry for like Josh is going to make the great. He's going to make the tackle. So and we also believe that for the um, Denzel was in great coverage. I mean, it was it was one of those balls where you could say he, he should have dove on him, should have finished, but he was in a great position. Dudes made a good catch. Sometimes a good catch, a good ball, I would do coverage. When you uh, when they threw that flag on the pass interference. Oh, I definitely knew it was him. I didn't even see the flag. I was just more mad because he pulled me down from a game-changing interception in my opinion. <laughs> you said that uh, after the game, the next day you felt fine. How big a hurdle was that? Was that how important was that in comparison to being healthy for the game? Uh, that was probably the most important thing for me because I'm able to go and keep competing uh, the next day, next week. So I go in after the game, like, cool, I feel good. I'm ready to compete for this next week. Yeah, did they miss an offensive pass interference on the, on the tight end catch on you? Maybe? Many. It gets him. He pushes off me. <laughs> um, you're an older guy in this in this corner. Do you take uh, any initiative to try and be a leader to the younger guys? Uh, definitely. I, I, I have, have the most experience here. Um, so I try, I try my best to give them inf information, insights, and anything I know that will believe it will help them and benefit them. Um, so they, they listen to me, and, and I really, I do respect them. They're gonna, they're gonna be very good when I get them. Did it feel good to come off the field Saturday night knowing the defense? You know, you could say the defense won the game with, with some of the plays you made. You kept it in it while the offense was was kind of getting going last year. Two big games defense was the team that was criticized. Does it feel good to know, hey, we're the, we're the group that helped win this game as opposed to what it was like last year? I mean, yeah, that's a good point, but we, we more, we're more we excited to say we were the Silver Bullets again, because for a while it was, we was the Silver Bullets, but we wasn't, we didn't live by it, we didn't understand it. Now, now we live by it and understand it and we play hard like Silver Bullets should. So. Yeah, was, uh, last question. Uh, CJ is is very very good. He's a he's a he's a great quarterback. One of the, if not one of or if not the best quarterback I ever went against. So uh, I believe in our offense. I believe in them. So I have no doubt that they're gonna pick pick it up. Whatever what you guys say. He says uh, sorry, he says he's faster, he's stronger, like more physically sound than he was last year. Do you see that? How has he made those changes? Uh, I I believe CJ definitely did. I believe our whole team did. Um, but everyone. We, we bought into the weight room, we bought into the conditioning, we bought into everything Coach Mick offered us to make us better and compete, be able to compete out there the whole year, so. Yeah. Hey, Kevin, I just kind of always fascinated by your position because you are a leader on this team, but you're also learning a new defense at the same time. Is that just kind of like a weird kind of thing to be in right now as you're learning, but also a leader? Um, yes and no, because personally, I have to pick things up faster, but it also makes, if I'm able to teach, teach them I'm learning myself because if I'm able to teach something I'm able to learn from my teachings besides so Matt <laughs> so hey, Karen who is the fastest cornerback from St. Louis on the team me what, what do you mean <laughs> just asking oh no nah, don't believe JK okay. don't do it I mean coach Mick said JK don't coach me in spring. I mean, uh, I'm good. I'm I'm fast. <laughs> you know he's he's fast. Yeah, he's fast. Thank you. Thanks, Thank you. All right. Thank you. Thank you.